Hi, thanks for joining me for this uh, daily reflection for Monday, May 4th. My name is Ed Lovell, and I am the Director of Communications here at Olivet. Last Wednesday, I had the pleasure of attending Jill Duffield's Zoom class that she is doing for the month of May. Uh, the topic of conversation is, what does it mean to seek to serve in Jesus's name? We're using the eighth ordination question to guide our discussion. And that question is, will you seek to serve the people with energy, intelligence, imagination, and love? We spent time last week talking about what service looks like and who we should be serving. Even if you didn't attend last Wednesday's meeting, you are certainly welcome to join us this Wednesday and every Wednesday in May as we continue these discussions. You know, in our Christian tradition, we certainly encourage and elevate the notion of service. We are called to serve others. From uh, the Good News version of the Bible, we read what God considers to be pure and genuine religion. And it says that it's this, to take care of orphans and widows and their suffering. While I'm looking forward to continuing our discussion in the coming weeks, what has really been on my heart since last Wednesday is not the idea of who we should be serving and how we should be serving, but I've been really thinking about who is serving us and how we should respond to that service. You see, while we certainly elevate the notion of service in our Christian tradition, we really think very little about the people who serve us each and every day. And when I say that we think very little, I'm talking about the amount of time that we spend thinking. Uh, the people who serve us rarely cross our minds. This pandemic has brought to the forefront the idea of who is serving me. These people who are most important to us are the ones usually earning the least amount of money for doing what is an incredibly important job right now. Sports is uh, certainly an important part of our culture, but the loss of a basketball season, a baseball season, season, even a football season, does not mean that our society will grind to a halt. Who are the people that are serving us that would cause our society to grind to a halt? How about all the people who are ensuring that our food chain stays intact. People keeping grocery store shelves stocked. People running the cash registers. I, I read an article the other day that said that the people running the cash registers have the most um, dangerous job in a grocery store because everyone who comes through the store is going to walk right past them. Every item they touch has been touched by multiple people. People who are cleaning our stores, our clinics, our hospitals, our rest stops, people who are ensuring that the mail keeps coming. You know, people who work in the meat packing industry have recently been told they need to return to work, even though factories have been hotbeds of infection. Apparently we just need our hamburgers. Each and every day, we're served by people seen and unseen. You know, I personally haven't been to a grocery store since March the 12th. I'm one of those uh, high risk individuals due to my age and some pre existing health concerns. I'm counting on somebody else to do my shopping for me. I've been using a service called Instacart, and I'm asking somebody else to assume a risk that I'm will, unwilling to assume for myself. So my thoughts have really been focused on who is serving me. 
you know, I pray that we as a country can learn from this experience about who and what is important in our lives. And that maybe there will be some fundamental changes in how we show appreciation for the people who serve us. My challenge to you this week is to think about who is serving you, to pray for their safety, and to show appreciation for them. Let's pray together. Gracious Father, we know that we are called to service in your Son's name, but we are also called to recognize those who serve us. Focus our attention on what is important in our lives and on those who make those important things possible for us. In your son's name we pray, amen.